I'm Dave Seaver from Mind Alive. Now, when people think entrainment, they think frequency. But why do they think frequency? Well, the reason why is 1934, Adrian and Matthews discovered that the brain would respond to the frequency of the flashing lights off of a photic stimulator, which they termed flicker following response. And over time, that term morphed into the term visual entrainment. And then it was found later on that audio uh, pulses can do the same thing as well. So by incorporating both into our devices, it became audiovisual entrainment. But I should let you know that uh, although the first discovery of driving brain waves was with frequency, the truth of the matter is, is that frequency has not too much to do with improving brain function. A uh, broad range of frequencies increase neurotransmitters such as serotonin and endorphins and dopamine. Broad range of frequencies increase cerebral blood flow, which is important in, in conditions such as dementia, concussions, Alzheimer's, and so on, where there's a shutting down of cerebral blood flow. It's been found that gamma frequencies uh, have been showing to clear up plaques in the brains and also improve, increase non-inflammatory cytokines in the brain. Another study found that roughly eight cycles per second had a pretty dramatic increase on heat shock protein not to say that other frequencies wouldn't also have a dramatic effect on heat shock protein that was just the only frequency that was used in the study uh, however um, other aspects to entrainment have to do with what we call dissociation and restabilization where basically it's used to calm someone down who's in a severe state of flight or fight and entrainment works remarkably well at that it, it breaks the the um, uh, the adrenal cycle from the brain uh, and the flight or fight response and we have uh, you know, we have many of these devices in the hands of military struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder uh, because it dissociates a person from their flight or fight uh, thoughts and behaviors and activities and when that happens they go into a very calm state of relaxation so Although the treatment was originally founded on the concept of frequency, the truth of the matter is frequency is pretty much the least of what entrainment does. It does so many other things that are absolutely vital to good brain function.